Hey, good morning. How are you guys? Uh, just a, We're going to do something different this morning. Um, something that's been up for me a bit, uh, but it came really, really strong last night. It was like, okay, let's do this. Um, I, I uh, We're going to do, a, you know, what I've been normally doing for a few minutes, a little chat about uh, a particular subject related to awakening and, and uh, consciousness and, you know, personal uh, note. And, and uh, then we're going to do uh, uh, the reading that we've been doing for a while. And and, uh, uh, and, and then we're going to have a short meditation. Uh, what I understand is that it'll, a lot of people are interested in, in the how-tos in meditation. How do I meditate, you know? And, and uh, so I, I'm going to do a short guided uh, uh, and then, you know, maybe as long as 10 minutes, we'll see. So, uh, as I'm doing the talk here this morning, uh, you know, and, and reading, get yourself in a comfortable place so that, uh, uh, when we do the meditation, you can, uh, can, you know, really drop in and so give that a shot. It, it's, uh, just following my intuition, um, the subject that that I wanted to speak about this morning that came was and and uh, people have been asking me and <clears throat> actually it's the it's it's kind of the the crux if you will of the uh uh not the problem but <coughs> the uh, turning point so how how do we surrender uh, you know uh, if, have you ever thought of that? You know, like the actual question, how how do I surrender? How do I, how, you know, it, uh, let's imagine that, that we've gotten to a point in our lives where we're, we're like, just, you know, like, fuck it. I, I'm, I'm done. You know, I'm cooked. You know, I can't go on. <clears throat> and the mind is, is, you know, still racing, though, to try to organize things, try to control things, try to manage things. And we just know that that it won't work, you know, because we've just burned through, you know, our next relationship or we've just burned through our next job or we've just burned through our next apartment or we've just burned through, you know, we just know that, you know, we maybe, you know, if, if we're an addict or an alcoholic, we've just come to the end, you know, we're like, oh my God, I, I, this has got to stop. And uh, you ever felt that? This has got to stop. This is like got to stop. How do I do that? So, you know, and, and you know, if you're around with somebody like me, and I say, "Well, I'll just surrender," <laughs> you're like, how, does, how, do, "How the fuck do I do that?" You know, how do I surrender? So, we, 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 I'm just gonna kind of give you some tips on surrender, and it's not as complicated as you might think. <laughs> and uh, and and then the watch force, you know. With surrender, um, there's in in uh, in the twelve step world, there's there's a multiple prayers of surrender. You know, the third step prayer is a surrender prayer, and uh, the seventh step prayer is a surrender prayer, and uh, actually all the prayers are surrender prayers in in the twelve step, uh, um, in the big book of of AA, and and uh, but it can be really simple, you know. It can be, I give up. It can be, please help me. You know, you can address whoever you imagine. You know, if we want to call it God, we want to call it Father, whatever we want to call it, you know, um, ancestors, you know, relations. I surrender is, is it. I, that we can just say it. I give up. I surrender. Please help me. Those words have a, a, an ability to shift things in our psyche. Can you know? Have you ever done that? <laughs> yeah. You know, you can do it. You can just and and it can be daily. Because what happens? And some of you will recognize this. What happens is that. Uh, things get a little better, even marginally better. And we, 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 in some ways, many of us don't even know ourselves well enough to know that we're back running the show. 
And so, you know, uh, let's imagine that uh, uh, we're beginning the conversation with our higher power. We're, we're starting because, you know, this is all going, what are we surrendering to? We're surrendering to a higher power, a power greater than ourselves. We're surrendering to God, you know, to love, to the moment, you know. So we start the conversation with, uh, okay, show me today how you want me to be. And it begins the conversation. And we're not out of bed and, and out the door, you know, oh my God, I'm going to be late. We're back running the show. We're, we stop, we pause in the morning, you know, and we surrender every day. We surrender moment to moment with little prayers like thy will, not my will. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. A million times I've said that. That's a surrender prayer. So those are, you know, for those of us who have gotten to the point where we've realized, I cannot run the show. You know, and uh, at one level, I, I know I don't want to bust anybody's bubble, but at one level, you know, on, in this level of, of uh, intellect and ego, we've created a lot of things to help us run the show, but in a mediocre way. You know, how would you like to live in your full potential? Literally, in your full potential. How would you, how would I, how would all of us like to live in our full potential? Well, the possibility to be in our full potential is through surrender, not through management, not through training. You know, yes, we, we need some practical knowledge sometimes to know how to do our banking or how to, you know, to take care of, uh, you know, some tips on making sure the house is clean and those kind of things. But if we begin to live spontaneously, you know, intuitively, because we're connected. Through surrender, we, be we begin this connection with a higher power that exists. You know, believing in a higher power isn't enough. It's the, we want this relationship, and the relationship comes when we get out of the road. It's our natural state. It is our natural state, this relationship with a higher power. So w through surrender, we literally move into our natural state. So when anger comes up, we surrender. You know, when fear comes up, we surrender. Right? When judgment comes up, we surrender. And for some of us, you know, our anger is so close to the top, you know. And, and, uh, and, and a lot of times anger is the top emotion, you know, because underneath there, the, we're frustrated. We're like, what's wrong with me? Have you ever felt that? What's wrong with me? You know? Well, maybe the truth is that we weren't designed to work here without a connection with a higher power. Maybe the truth is that we pushed that away and and uh, and, and tried, you know, ego said, I, I got this. I got this. I can run this. And ego can't. You know, and maybe for some people it's good enough. But for some of us... It's not. We're like, okay, this is not working. And uh, so surrender is the key to, the, to you know, the whole deal. And, and, uh, and we step out of the way. We move out of the way. And, 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 uh, and that's part of what's going to happen in this meditation that we're going to do. Uh, because there's, uh, uh, I'm hoping, you know, my plan is to share some words as we go into meditation that bring us into a state of surrender. Of, of moving aside the ego, leaving the ego behind for a little bit so we can touch in with that higher power. That's the goal of this meditation we're going to do in a few minutes. So stay with me for that. We're going to meditate. Uh, we're going to read from uh, our Daily Reflections book here. And uh, Daily Reflections, it's not Daily Reflections, it's a 24-hour day book. Uh, there are There is another amazing book that has this great, you know, reading in it, and it's called Daily Reflections, and we're not reading that today. And today's the 30th of October. Wow. Who gives a shit, right? <laughs> Who cares what day it is? Anyway, here we are. You know, is it really that important? Does anybody really know what time it is? Does anybody really care? Here we go. Yeah, surrender, baby. Uh, I think we could talk about surrender all day long. So this guy wrote this book in 1954. Yeah, imagine. And, and uh, 
Um, and it was the the 12-step world, you know, the 12-step program. The very first day that we call day one, I think, is June 10th, 1935. And the book of Alcoholics Anonymous didn't get published till 39. And this little thing, you know, we already had a big enough movement uh, by by uh, 54 that this man published this little book and it's still in in print it's amazing and this is a very old one uh it has a uh, uh you know inside the front cover it says the price was a dollar 50 you know and so it's quite old and uh, i don't know where it came from uh lauren hints h-i-n-t looks like t-z uh from uh, Rosetown, and uh, is in the front cover. So this, I, I really don't know how it got into my possession. I, I probably picked it up at a used bookstore or something. But <clears throat> pretty cool. But here we go. Surrender, baby. You, you know. Anyway, this, I have no idea what the reading is going to be about. <coughs> I, but here we go. I have real friends. Oh, glasses. I, I got my readers the other day. I went out and bought my one twenty fives, and. Uh, Love your socks. Um, <laughs> got a buddy in the room with me this morning. It's great. Don't usually get a live audience. Um, and I'm not sure how alive he is. But um, It says, thought for the day, October 30th, I have real friends where I had none before. My drinking companions could hardly be called my real friends, though when drunk we seemed to be bosom pals. And hail fellows, well met. You can tell that's about 54. And hail fellows, well met. Anyway, my idea of friendship has changed. Friends are no longer people whom I can use for my own pleasure or profit. Friends are now people who understand me and I them, whom I can help and who, I can, and who can help me to live a better life. I have learned not to hold back and wait for friends to come to me, but to go halfway and and to meet halfway, openly and freely. Does friendship have a new meaning for me? So, you know, um, even though we're in surrender, this like a little tip like that is, is good for us, you know. Many of us, when we come to the 12-step world, we don't know how to have friends. We, you know, uh, we thought because we, you know, spend a little time with somebody that they were a friend and friendships grow you know it takes time to build friendships and and build connections and and uh, to stay with people to till those things happen you know to be it takes time hey jason we're going to meditate in a minute bud get comfortable and uh um okay I'll finish the reading here meditation for the day there is a time for everything we should learn to wait patiently until the right time comes. Easy does it. We waste our energies in trying to get things before they are ready, before we are ready to have them, before we are earned the right to receive them. The great lessons we have to learn is how to wait for, with patience. Again, surrender, patience, and, and surrender, they're they're like cousins, right? We can believe that all my life. It's a preparation for something better to come when we have earned the right to it. We can believe that God has a plan for our lives and that this plan will work out in the fullness of time. Yes, it's all happening. Nothing's missing. It's here. We are exactly where we need to be in this moment. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may learn the lessons of waiting patiently. I pray that I am not... I pray that I may not expect things until I've earned the right to have them. And, you know, when we talk about earn the right to have them, we are not the judge of that. You know, universal intelligence is the judge of that. Time is the judge of that. You know, life is happening. And and, and uh, when we're not, you know, in a, in a way looking for something to happen, you know, putting timelines on stuff. Well, this should be, you know, I should be here by then, or I should be, you know. I I just have to tell you, on a personal level, after 40 years of, of this search, of this, you know, looking, 
I, you know, to find that the thing I was looking for was already here was amazing, you know. And, and uh, uh, I, as that happened, I didn't go, oh, my gosh, you know, I've wasted all that time. I, that was all just life, you know. As the doors opened, all the appropriate doors have been opening for 40-some years. And, and, and this what I will call a t -t search, you know. Um, so it doesn't have to take 40 years. It just maybe I was a tough customer and only surrendered part way <laughs> sometimes. Okay. So are you comfortable? You need to get in a comfortable position because if you really do what I'm going to suggest you do, you might fall off that chair. The floor would be great, yeah. yeah. It, it's a... Uh, Good to sit on the floor. Look at you. You need to stretch. We're going to get you into power hour. <laughs> Stretching the body. So uh, we're going to meditate for a little bit. I'm, I'm, my goal is uh, it's uh, 10 after 10, so about 10 minutes. And, and uh, you can find yourself a comfortable spot uh, where you can, can sit. Give me maybe a little thumbs up if you're going to join us for meditation. And uh, a little, you know, a, yeah, a thumbs up or a heart, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get started. I'm waiting for at least one of those. Mm -hmm. Jason, you're going to join us for meditation. Mm hmm Good. Awesome, you guys. All right. So close your eyes. Just be sitting as comfortable as you can. Uh, if you're in a chair, make sure you have your feet, uh, both of them, on the ground. If you're sitting down on the ground, cross-legged is fine. And, uh, um, yeah, we, we want to be able to drop into the body with, without any need to do anything to hold it and allowing it to hold itself. So how are we going to come right into this moment? Through our breath. We're going to use our breath to bring ourselves to right now. Just bring your consciousness, your awareness to your breath. Laying down is not a good idea. Laying down, um, actually what the ego wants to do is put us to sleep. And, and uh, so it's a, it does that. Now, if you were to put your back against that uh, right there, that would be great, yeah. And, and uh, is that better? Yeah. You can put that pillow behind your back if you want. Okay, good. So we're, we're sitting, you know, we're comfortable. We have our feet on the floor or we're cross-legged on the floor. And we're in a kind of a situation where we don't have to do anything to hold our body. We're, we're just settle in with our breath. Breath is always the way into this moment. No matter where you are, no matter what's happening, when we bring our attention to our breath, we are here. We are here. But what I'm going to do is I want you to imagine that um, you're coming to visit me and before you come into the room where I am, <clears throat> you're going to leave all your thoughts outside. You're going to leave your hmm, all your questions outside. So as we're going into this space right now, just set them down, your conditioned beliefs about who you are, your idea of who you are, you know, your thoughts of being a man or being a woman or being Canadian or being angry or just leave them before you come into the space. You can pick them up later. Just leave all of your situations that are currently happening. Just leave them outside. You're going to come into the space with me right now with your breath into this moment. And in this moment where we are, there's nothing. It's totally open. 
There's no idea, there's no thought about anything. We're just here, now, in our breath. We can notice, if we'd like to, our body a bit, if there's any discomfort. Just feel it, acknowledge it, let it go. If there are any sounds in the space that you're in, just include them. Just include them. It doesn't matter if there's people in the next room yelling. Nothing matters. Just include it. It's part of the experience in this moment. It's what's happening now. Now, as we're sitting here, if thoughts come up, because they, they might, you know, they might come. And I know we left them all outside, but they sneak in a bit. Just let them go. Just don't pick them up. Just watch them go by. And if they really get you, come back to the breath. So the space that we want to find, if you will, is this quiet space, this still space inside of us. Just sense the stillness. Nothing's moving. Nothing's needed. We've become nothing. We are nobody in this moment. We're not somebody's mother, somebody's father. We are just an empty space. We're going to sit for a few minutes. And it isn't even in this empty space. We are the empty space. Let's just sit in it and allow the quietness to be, just be part of, be one with that stillness. You may get visions and colors inside, behind your eyes. Just let them be. They'll pass. Just watch the thoughts, let them go. Don't pick them up. As you're watching your thoughts, just for a minute, ask yourself, who's watching the thoughts? Maybe you thought the thoughts have always been you but now you see that somebody else is there watching the thoughts. I think that's long enough for today. My intent is that we'll do this on a daily basis. I think 
just leaving and or facilitating or helping people to get into this quiet space every day. It's a, become a practice. Many, many, many of you people tell me they don't know how to meditate. Well, that's it. You sit quietly. You drop down inside into that still spot. Let go of our thoughts. We leave all of our intentions, all of our complaints, all of our judgments outside of the room. And we're there. And as we grow in that space, as we, as we become more in that, you know, we start to recognize our oneness. It doesn't have to take time, no, it can happen right now. You can feel it. We are one. With everything. So, when you're done, just come back. Into your body, into your space, if you've been away. Open your eyes. Okay. Uh, I think that is exactly <coughs> what I was hoping for, about 10 minutes. Thanks, you guys. A little meditation. Yep. Beautiful. So we'll practice that every day going forward. And... Uh, Yeah, we'll practice that every day. Okay, love you guys. And uh, if you have any thoughts, comments, please just make a note or you know say something or get in touch. Or, and uh, we'll talk soon.